So Alex, my final question for you is in terms of creating stories. So back to the first question, like personal branding, content creation, the storytelling techniques or the ability to tell good stories is important so that it can convey your accomplishment, it can convey your values, it can tell who you are and you're being your authentic self. So is there any tips or any techniques that people can increase their storytelling techniques? Um, I think identifying what stories you, you want to be sharing and telling, right? Mm -hmm. um, so I work in the employer branding space. So for me, the best stories are, are ones that are shared by my teammates. Mm -hmm. uh, teammates or, you know, any any customers I work with, you know, uh, you know, who I've worked with before or, you know, uh, down the road, it's identifying, you know, what are, what are they doing? Um, uh, how can I, if anything, I, I don't want to share their story and wordsmith everything and, you know, make it very much of my tone of voice. It's about yeah. taking taking what they're sharing with you because they don't know the, the the power of like you know what a one interview with them and you mm. turning that into a video or to a blog is going to do yeah until you you know you you pick your pick your spots you know okay what are they sharing with you is it about okay there's something they do inside and outside of work what has uh you know company a b or c done for them to really help support them and their efforts yeah how have they grown you pick out those different nuggets Mm -hmm. And then that's gonna, you know, kind of, kind of give you an idea of what you should be doing. But also, outside of that, determine okay, is this, you know, this approach? If I do like, if I highlight a teammate, if you know, day in life, is that a series that we keep going on and on, right? And then mm -hmm. you have that little series or set of stories that are going. And then okay, the next piece could be okay. Let's focus on people who are doing just anything outside of work, strictly yeah. outside of work. Yeah. Or you can go location based. Um, and then if it's more to, you know, on a personal basis, like what what are you going to share with people? I mean, yeah, I, the honest truth is there's only so much you can share. Of, hey, today I did this. I did that. I think once you have a massive following, there's people who can get by with doing that. It's not something that I, I, I like doing, <laughs> you know, for each person that does like doing that. Hey, more power to them. But, um, you know, if you are just working on your personal brand, like I would say that the storytelling is more if you have a position that kind of falls in line with that, like employer branding, communications, um, you know, marketing, or if you're you're hiring manager of sorts. But then um, it's as a it's job seeker, how really... can they as a job seeker how can they use the storytelling techniques to tell them about themselves, especially if they are new to a country and they don't know anything about. It? Um, so I think one thing that's discounted is so outside of, you know, doing like a, an, an intro post to say, Hey, this is what, uh, you know, this is, you know, a lot of people know your story, where you're from, you know, what yeah. you're looking to do, what you're looking to accomplish. Uh, but I think the about section, uh, on LinkedIn is, yeah. is highly undervalued to me. That is, that's your cover letter, right? You know, yeah. I, th I think people hate cover letters now, but that's yeah. still a form there. Like, uh, if I'm looking at it with LinkedIn recruiter, and let's say I'm, I'm sourcing individuals, and you yeah. want a job and you want me to know more about you where, okay, I can look within a few seconds and I have a general idea of what, who yeah. you are, what you're doing, you know, what you've done in the past and then where you are at a current state, right. that about us section is key. That's yeah. you writing like, that's like a, your, uh, your elevator pitch. If you want to call it that. Yeah. And so in a matter of seconds, that should tell me, like, if you look at mine, you'll know, Hey, Love employer branding. I love traveling and yeah. love helping out people. That's that's something that will always be brought up because you can find it there. So yeah, make it simple. Um, it doesn't have to just be you know all these things that you would do if you had a job with you know mm -hmm. some company. It should yeah. be something that tells them a lot about yourself. Yeah, those are great. And I tell my students and the clients that the about section on LinkedIn is about your story. You know, you can start with the hook, with the quotation, and then tell us. Where did you start? Why? What are you doing? And at the very end, call for action. I like to meet with people. I like to connect with them to tell more stories. That's how I think the about section, as you mentioned, is very important. And it tells your story, gives a glimpse. Yeah, and even the experience section. I mean, whether you're a student, you're a volunteer, part-time, full-time worker. Yeah. It's not the day-to-day -day that people want to read about. That should tell me a story like of accomplishments, right? Like a high-level mm -hmm. outline. So, okay, hey, I got you know, the most leads for the quarter uh, yeah. employee, you know, because of, because of what I've done and it's yeah. almost your, it's uh it's a humble brag in a sense. So you're mm -hmm. putting purposely putting out there what you've done in each position at each yeah. company or each project. 
And that's going to stand out along with your about us section that is really going to make people want to quit, you know, even if you don't fit all the uh, the requirements, yeah. if there's potential there, you're doing your best to show that and make that, uh, you know, uh, relevant to them. Yeah, those are great tips, Talent. Thank you very much. And with that, my interview comes to an end. I really enjoyed the conversation. Very practical tips that I believe the listeners and job seekers can implement. So again, thank you very much. So, and tune in next time for another great guest I'm preparing for you guys. And again, Alex, thank you very much. Let's keep in touch. And bye, everyone. All right. Thank you.